Right, I am aware that I look very orange because <laughs> I've kind of just caked on the bronzer today and yeah, you can definitely tell. My ring light keeps flashing from one like tone of light to another so I need to get a new ring light because it feels a bit dangerous to be honest. It makes this weird noise as well. Yeah, happy... what day is it? Friday. It's Friday, it's games night tonight. Got the dartboard out and we were going to play Uno but that's at my sister's still. So we're going to play Picture Eco, darts, probably a bit of Monopoly, but it does get heated. And um, probably just a little bit on the PlayStation and, you know, just... It's Friday night, you know? That is the plan. And I've got a coffee, lukewarm this time, so it's not too bad. But, um, yeah, anyway, hope you're all right. Like I said, it is the weekend. I feel like as well this tone of top isn't um, working with the face, like, in the lip shade. That's how it feels. I don't know. Wait till I watch it back. But anyway, I've been down the Chazers. So I am doing a collaboration with another creator. Look, it's just changed. Oh, and again, did you see that? It's a bit dangerous. I don't like that. Yeah, I don't like it. It makes a bit of a buzzing noise. So that's got to go very soon. Anyway, I have been down the Chazers, all right. I haven't been for a while and I thought, you know what, I'm going to go down. I'm doing a collaboration with another creator and I'm so excited. So I can't show you all like the other bag that I've got because I've got like a big bag of bits. I wasn't like, oh, it was really hard. Like it was really hard to find bits for this challenge and I've got to go back out Monday and just have like one more look um to see if i can find anything um because i kind of had a theme in my mind of how i wanted to do this challenge like for what i wanted to do um like for my um part of the challenge and yeah i was just like oh my god every time we go to rider it's amazing or just like the other chazers like it's all right then typically the time that you know i'm doing like a challenge there's fuck all in the shops so i was like damn but yeah i managed to get a few bits so i'm going to show you the bits that i um got you know for myself and then i'm sure you'll see the challenge very soon i just really need to get a couple more bits i just need a couple more bits but yeah like i got some good bits but it just like i guess that's the fun of the challenge you know but um yeah right these are the bits that i got so if you do want to stick around i'd really appreciate it if you left a like and subscribed to my channel if you're not already go get a drink go get a drink look at that my bloody lipstick um and yeah i shall show you my bits not those bits just quickly as well let's do the giveaway so here it is random comment picker it says comment picker um so yeah i always do it this way and the giveaway was for um this box of bits and bobs so in here there is all of this which is really fucking annoying but it looks kind of pretty i will you know tidy it up a little bit but you know there's just like all these kind of bits and bobs so yeah there's this face scrubber masks eye masks fluffy socks because who don't love fluffy socks um and then yeah just bits and bobs there's some chocolate in there there's some nails which are actually from the chazza um so there is a pound sticker on there i will take that off but yeah oh i actually can't remember what they look like let's have a look so they might not be your cup of tea but you know you can palm them off to someone can't you if you don't like them they're not bad actually when i first got them i was like oh they're very snazzy but i just haven't put them on and there's a hair so they come with a free hair lucky you men um like lashes bits and bobs uh what is this marshmallow body scrub so yeah just bits and bobs um for a giveaway so let's do that now so thank you to everybody that did comment on um the giveaway that entered um just in general you know i appreciate all your comments copy link and then you stick it in this like random like it just randomly picks a comment and then it usually yeah usually gives you a math sum nine plus um two is 13 i'm joking it's not 13 it's 11 though i think then <laughs> nine ten eleven yeah bloody hell right and then it gets all the comments and then you press start it whizzes through them and the winner of this giveaway is jane pennock you are so thoughtful to do that you're beautiful inside and out done that is such a lovely comment honestly i really appreciate it and like i said i really appreciate everyone's comments as well so that's jane pennock so if you could um send me a message with your address and yeah i'll get that um sent out so i really um appreciate everyone's comments on the giveaway i will do another giveaway so yeah let me put my music back on let me screenshot that actually because i will forget 
but that is Jane Pennock. I'm literally on 1% don't know how I did that. But these are the bits that I got um, from the charity shop today. So listen, this was a banger, all right? It's not in my size, but when is it, all right? When is it in my size? So this was not from Sue Ryder, actually. This was from um, Age UK, and it's a DKMY top. It's a DKMY top, and I love red. I do think, like, with my black hair, um, you know, a bit of the old red will suit me. This was originally £4.50. It is a size small, but look... We're stretching, all right. It is a size small. Um, yeah, four fifty originally, and then it was on the pound rail. So Age UK have got a pound rail, which I love, honestly. They usually have some alright bits on there. So yeah, I grabbed this. Before anyone thinks I'm crazy buying things, if you are new to my channel, because I've had a few new subscribers, which I am so grateful for. So hi, um, yeah, welcome to my channel. Um, welcome to the family. But um. Yeah, I do buy clothes that don't always fit, they're not my size, all right. I've got size eights. Do I look like a size eight? Do a fuck, all right. I've got size eights in my wardrobe. Um, and, you know, if there's a bit of stretch, all right, we're winning. You just got to try. Try your look, you never know. It's all about the material. And I definitely think that I'll get in this. So this is the top. It's kind of like a, a wrap. Um, I just think with a nice push-up bra, you know, make me take make bitters look nice. Nice pair of trousers and bob's your uncle there we go so yeah dkmy for a quid you can't go wrong can you so that was the first thing i got and then i let me just stretch my leg out bloody hell i got some oh i got some pajamas which i fell in love with they were only two pound 49 these were from where were these from age uk but the other age uk so there's like a couple like on the road look at these it's a little um, vest top and shorts, but it's got a little cat on it. It's got a little cat on it. And they're from, originally, well, this has been cut out, actually, but they might be in the bottoms. I bet that irritated them, so they've cut it out. £2.49 for the set in a size 18 to 20. And let's have a look where they're from. Oh, I'm not sure. It just says XL, doesn't really say. But these are the shorts. They're not bad, are they? Oh, well chuffed, honestly. These leggings from TU, um, which I think is Sainsbury's. <laughs> hey, they're in the Sainsbury's bag. It's the little things um, really amuse me. But yeah, these were only a quid. And they're like amazing condition. They've got no bobbling. I thought that was an hole on the arse then. It's not. I was going to say, they've got no bobbling, but it's a fucking hole on the arse. But no, they're really good condition. Like, there's no fading, no bobbling, and size 18 so there'll be no like muffin top and then i got a couple of books as well so oh, i forgot i got this right i'll show you this in a minute I don't, it's not armani but i found it and i'm gonna like, oh, like it i like the box anyway i wore the ring i love the ring so i don't even know if it'll fit but i just loved it and i was like i want it and it was cheap grandma's book of puzzles so i got this for myself because it says 7.99 originally but it was only like 50p there is a few puzzles done only, well, the odd one or two there, look. You can see, let's see if they completed it. No, they didn't. But I love it, most of them, look. Most of them are, you know. I love a good puzzle, I do. Bit of the old Sudoku. Oh, I love Sudoku, I do. But I get really fucking annoyed if I fuck it up just once, that's it, I'm well annoyed. But there's um, all kinds of puzzles. So, crosswords, number crunchers, tea break Tea break crossword, word searches, all sorts. Arrow, oh, I love arrow word. Form a cue. Oh, I could be here all day. I could be here all day. So yeah, that was 50p and it's pretty much brand new. So yeah, I shall be in my new pink pajamas tonight doing grandma's crosswords. And then I got this, which is what the most successful people do before breakfast. And I was fucking curious because, you know, I'm going to have a good read of this. Give it a wipe. I don't know what this successful person's done before breakfast, but it feels a little bit sticker. So, I mean, each to their own, you know? But yeah, I just thought I would have a good read. Then I've read this one before, but I haven't got it. So I thought I would get it because it was only 50p and it is feel the fit and do it anyway. So yeah, it's just about, you know, basically, you know, whatever your fear is, whatever you're, you know, scared of in life, just fucking going for it anyway you know things that hold you back things that you know prevent you from you know what you're capable of 
you know, excelling yourself and just doing it, just going for it. Like I always say, don't any fuckers get you down, ever. Honestly, they're not worth it at all. They're not worth your time and energy, never. I got these um, bath rocks. So pink Himalayan bath rocks. And they were £2. The thing looks a bit wet, but I think that's because, like, salt rocks get a bit juicy, don't they? So I know my tea light, I've got, like, some um, salt tea light holders. I don't know what that was. Salt tea light holders. <laughs> and, um, yeah, they get a bit wet. So... Yeah, you just drop a few bath rocks into your bath, stir, and this is from, I don't know where it's from actually, it just says looks edit, so yeah, pink Himalayan salt, and it's new, and they were £2, so yeah, I was well chuffed, so I've got a right night going on, PJs, bath salts, my book, and then a bit of jewellery that I found, this is actually from Warren James, and it was a pound, I don't know if this necklace is from this box, but I yeah i don't know but it's a silver necklace and i thought for a quid that is is stamped it is stamped actually i don't know i just don't know if it's been like put in this warren james box but it was it's quite a pretty necklace it was only a quid so i thought i would you know take the risk yeah it's very pretty but i fell in love with this ring so it's in a little armani box so yeah, like this little uh, Armani box. It's like a magnetic one, look. You see? But the ring is actually really pretty. This was £1.50 for this. So, oh, £1.50. And I'm not sure this ring is from this, but this is the ring. And I absolutely fell in love. I'm going to give it a good clean. But yeah, I have no idea if, you know, it's just been put in this um, little box... But yeah, I fell in love with it, so I love it. I love jewellery, I love rings, you know, I, I just... And then the last thing, which I thought was a bloody bargain. So I got these bowls, which were from Marks and Spencers, and they were three for a pound. They're not chips or anything. They are in really good condition. So yeah, M&S, um, like square bowls, and they were three for a quid. So... Yeah, not three for a quid. So I was well chuffed for them. But, um, yeah, that's it. That's everything from Down the Chaz. Like I said, I've got a bag full um, for my collaboration that you'll see um, next week. But, uh, yeah, I just need to go out and find a few more bits because, you know, I've got a nice bag full, but oh, I was like, I really need this and this and this to, like, kind of make it. But, um, yeah, anyway, that is it. That's the end of the video. I'm going to go get the kids dinner on now and then, yeah, just chill out, have a bit of a games night and stuff. We always just, like, play Crash, like, take it in turns on the controller. Like, we'll play a bit of darts and stuff, you know, and just... Yeah, it's just nice, Friday night. I really like Friday nights. But, um, yeah, anyway, that's it. That's the end of the video. As always, my friends, don't let any dickheads get you down. You're fucking amazing. I love you all, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video.